Welcome in to Let's Talk Shop. My name is Steve. Today we're going to fiddle around with the heater motor. We're going to take a look at the little control panel. We're going to look at the core and we're going to make sure the blower works. We'll get all that put back in the car. Go brew yourself a cup of joe or pop open a cold one. Let's Talk Shop. So on the bench here we've got the blower motor here, um, over here is the control panel with levers that actuate various ducting by way of a cable, and over here is the heater core, just a tiny little radiator, and the hot water that flows through it is the source of the heat. So the heater blower motor, gonna test it here, um, it's got the four male you know, spade connector. Uh, blue with black, that is the power. Blue with red there is probably the medium setting. Blue with yellow is the high setting, and blue with white is the low setting. So we're going to check all those and see how this bad boy performs. This is the low setting, the blue with white wire. Let's see if it works. And there we go. Okay. Let's switch it up now to the medium setting. That'll be blue with red. Blue with red, coming on. Looking good. And high is blue with yellow. Okay, this should be high. Checking the high setting here. Okay, I'm very happy the blower works fine. So I'm gonna need a new gasket around this little opening here. Um, and then the foam inside here is pretty well disintegrated. I've gotta figure out a way to replace that. Okay, this was a foam gasket. I've got a ton of foam left over from Headliner, so that's easy. I do want to replace this piece of foam inside the flap here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that up here with the lever. And once I've opened that, then I can remove these three screws here, or bolts, and then have uh, an easier way to get to that to put a new piece of foam in there. And while I'm at it, I can blow, you know, compressed air in there and clean out the blower motor. Maybe hit it with some paint. So I do want to note that the foam on the back side of this flap is in great shape. I'm just gonna leave it alone. What I'm gonna do is remove this one that's deteriorated and replace it. <laughs> well, that was easy. Ah, and more felt. There's always more. Okay, what I'm going to do now is, uh, the, the, first of all, I have the unit upside down just to show uh, these vents that'll open and the foam that's underneath is in decent shape. So with this lever here, I can open those. So that foam's going to be all right. And there's another one just like it on the other side. That foam's in decent shape. What does the core look like? That's next. I think externally it'll look fine, but I want to be able to, you know, like flush it. And I guess I could do that up here with just these 
tubes, but yeah, let's get in there. I wanna look. Need to remove cable action. Let's see about detaching some linkage. Which side is easiest? Probably this guy. There is our heater core, complete with debris and stuff. Heater core looks good. Just gonna blow some debris out of there. I'm also gonna test it. Make sure that there's flow. Should be good to go. My green car, the heater core was plugged. I don't have any reason to believe this one is. We'll see. But we're gonna hook this up to some garden hose and see some flow. What I'm gonna do is open and close this valve just to test the heater valve. And it's this here lever that's gonna open that. So the valve's working, I can see it opening and closing there. All good, heater valve works. I'm gonna test the heater core here. working. I don't know if the camera got that, but the first like second was, you know, dirty looking old stuff. But I know it's open and it works. Plenty of leftover material from my headliner project. So I'm going to cut a piece for the heater door flap. Let's measure that. Looking at four and a quarter by five and three eighths. Five and three eighths, four and a quarter. Yeah, so this headliner material is really coming in handy because, you know, I use the jute again on the fuel tank, use some of the foam on the parcel shelf, use some of this gray foam on the vents. 3M, high strength, 90. I'm gonna wanna hit this a couple times. So this has gotta be a good solid glue. A little flap is gonna move regularly. So this bad boy has to stay put. Yeah. Challenge is, can I do this without making a mess? Probably not. Just because I know me. There we go. That'll do her. Handled. I did want to cover up some of that rust that was just starting to develop on this thing. I did not want to paint over the Nip and Denso logo here with a part number. I only painted the side where there was, you know, some corrosion getting started. And I got some more headliner leftovers. I'm gonna use right here on this little rectangle. So when I did the vents, I had my buddy Corey burn these off on a laser cutter. Those were complicated. They had screw holes and little nubbins, tangs. This one's pretty easy. We're gonna test the resistance on the wires for the fan switch here. Let's just check that component. Uh, so power is the blue with black and my heater low is blue with white. So let me put it on low. If I had this all upside right, I couldn't see the colors on the wires back here, so it's all upside down. So uh, what I've got here is the blue with black power, and blue with white is the low switch. And there we got no resistance. We'll take it. Next! Medium's position is the blue with red. That's the two top prongs here. And there we got no resistance. Good. And then I uh, have to put the fan on high. High is blue with yellow. That is this bottom one here. 
And there we go. I'm going to say this switch works great. Okay, it checks out. This little heat distribution device has a cover with some pretty worn felt. I'm going to remove that and put some uh, foam weather strip cushion on it. This is some 3 8 inch wide by 3 16 inch thick weather stripping. not addressed the heater hose. Let's take it off. Yeah, this hose is brittle. I have another one. I just got to root around in my bins full of parts. Find it. So we'll get to that later. I'd like to put the heater core case back together. Let's start with this bracket. It's got to go first so that you can actually get to this plate from below. A little bit loose, it sort of stays put. Well, let's go with the case attachment screws. Okay, heater core case, reassembled. Okay, I'm now going to re-hook the linkage back up with the heater core case. This cable here opens and closes the heater valve. Let's put that back where it goes. Yeah, this is gonna be impossible to catch on film, so sorry. Impossible. I mean, if I had an extra guy, we don't have that today. This is a little cable management clip. It goes. Right here. Let's uh, just double check operation here. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if this camera is getting it, but the heater valve is once again working. Got this linkage goes to this arm here. Just make sure those move together. They do. Now, you might be wondering why I took the blower apart. Lubricate everything. So I had tried this little thing earlier and it was stiff and tight. So I lubricated the shaft there, the shaft on this end, all the little hinges and stuff. Lubricate everything like the heater valve. I'm using Wilson Combat Firearms Lubricant. I use it because it's light, works really good to get into small, tiny places. It's great stuff. Shafty type stuff gets lubed. Let's hit this cable that goes inside of a sheath. All right, I found my new part. I did have foresight in my younger years to buy a couple of these. I'm gonna go with a little lube. I can just lube it up. Why struggle? I know some of you guys have done this in the car. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. Even on the bench, it's not easy. Now I put the bottom one on first because that's the heater valve and it's just barely hanging. Didn't want to put undue pressure on it. I am so grateful that I bought this heater hose back in the 80s. I just knew eventually you need that part. Because I worked in an auto parts store and uh, we were constantly getting heater hoses for Japanese cars from the dealers and reselling them. We also had some through laser light, sometimes um, Beck Arnley. So to mount the heater core and the blower, there's one, two, three bolts. And then this is gonna accept a nut. So there's one, two, three nuts. 
Now these two nuts on the back of the heater core case, those fit through the cowl space and the nuts will actually be on the outside of the car. Heater bolts on the inside of the car have a 12 millimeter head. The nuts, there are three, two underneath the cowl and one for the blower, 14 millimeter heads. And now to hook up the electronics part here. So these two, the four prong female and the two prong female. They go in the back here. These turn the fan off and on and get the fan at it to its various speeds. Next. Last thing is to hook up the blower motor. It goes there like that. And then there's this little cable routing tang. Clip widget. Now we need ducting. Gotta find the ducks. You see what I did there? I've got all my ducks in a row. Okay, no, seriously. The 74 uh, had this piece of ductwork attached with a couple of, you know, screws that had big, fat, round washers. And that proved to be problematic in cracking the rubber. By 76, they added this here piece of metal, you know, a little bracketry, and that kind of saved it from getting cracked so easily. So I've got that to put on, and um, I'll pick the two nicer defrost vent hoses here, and we'll get these things put on. Top edge first, and the bottom. Trust me, sometimes I just know things. So when I restored these, uh, I made a video about cleaning these, restoring them. That's video log 56. All the duct work, did some rubber duct work. Okay, I'm just reaching up, make sure that all edges are on. And they are. Yeah, I'm not convinced that this is gonna show up on camera, but I'm putting the parts on. But wait, there's more. The defrost heat knob is missing. I'm only replacing the missing knob. The others are original equipment and I'm gonna leave them. So yeah, they look different, but that's what I'm gonna do. There we go. Alright, jolly gold heater project done.